Great. So minus one is really fun. It's I've always said the you can do so many things with arrays and tuples and strings in Java uh, in TypeScript rather, but you can't do much with numbers, and you need to create accumulators and all these crazy things. Yeah. So. This one just, it's pretty simple. I mean, it gives, you get a number and you're supposed to return that number minus this one. This one I'm very confident about. Oh, okay, um, great. So let's let's do it. Of, part of my library, I've created like a whole arithmetic suite. So yeah, oh, this one perfect. I Perfect. So, so, okay, have at it then. Okay, so um, the uh, very first part of this, so the way we do um, accumulators in general, uh, the simple way, there's like different approaches, but the simple way is to use tuple length as creating gener um, creating uh, accumulators. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to actually create a few utility types here. So Let's the first it. type I'm going to create is going to be accumulator. And it's actually going to take in a union. Uh, and what this will return is going to be, um, uh, I'm basically going to say uh, it's going to have T and then it's going to create one more element, which is going to be uh, T of length. And we're going to, I mean, just to explain, this is, this is hard. So I'm going to try to write this in a way that's sort of understandable. So I'm going to test it out with some cases so that we see what it is. If you could hover over. Yeah. Yeah. Foo. So foo right now is giving us, uh, it just has zero in it. Zero. So now if I put in zero here, it should be zero and one. It's zero and one. Exactly. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to create a utility type called times. And if anybody's familiar with Lodash, it's going to be very similar logic to this. So, and I'm going to create a, we've been using accumulator for X. I'm going to say accumulator, and this is going to be an empty array. And we're going to say unknown here. And then we're basically going to say, does ACK of length extends N? Question mark. If it does, we can just go ahead and return ACK. And I know that we prefer the question mark on yep. the following line. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and, and just yeah, yeah. right in line with the yeah. Okay, right in line. Okay, cool. So you can uh, read. Now, it's so you can read down really easily, like the condition and then true and false. That makes sense. So if if we haven't reached that length yet, we're just just going to pass in, this into the accumulator. Now I'm going to um, show off times. So I'll do times of five, and what we should get is. Uh, not what we see right there. So this is actually, okay. Yeah. Are we getting, um, do we need I mean, times? Are you just showing off? Do we need times no, to no, solve no. this? We need times. We need times. We need times. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to pass an N and <laughs> then we're going to do, um, uh, we're going to accumulate. Uh, we're going to, oh, I don't know. I call this accumulator. We're going to call this increment. Uh, and then we're going to cool. pass an increment. Um, and we're going to pass an ACK. Okay. So. Yeah. Now, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, great. So now what we have is very simple. So I can do, I can say um, T is going to be a number, right? Uh, so we can say T extends number. And then I'm going to say uh, like, um, I'm going to call this. I'm going to make a new variable. I'm going to say, call this like times result, maybe. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say this is times of T. Okay. Um, and let's see what it complains about. Uh, mm. Times expects. That doesn't between, make sense. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It, it, it fixed itself. Okay. 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 I'm going to say this is going to be really, it's an array of members. Okay. So now all we have to do is we have to take off one of these elements, right? Mm -hmm. And then check the length. You see what I mean? Yeah. So this problem has become very simple all of a sudden. So we, I'm going to do one more utility type just because I like, I like for complicated problems like this, you, what you'll often see is somebody, you know, making a solution that is just one monolithic solution. Yeah, yeah, like. yeah. Um, deconstructing it so it's a little bit easier to understand. And this one is going to be, uh, I'm going to pop off the last element. So this is going to be T extends um, infer in it infer tail using the Haskell syntax. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to return in it. Otherwise, I'm going to return never. We can check that we got this 
correct real quick. So pop times five. So we're going to see. And that is, is equal to zero, one, two, three. And we, you notice the length of that is four, right? So yeah. now all we have to do is pop time, um, times result of length. And we'll see if it maybe works or maybe not. Uh, okay, it works for all positive integers. I just noticed we have um, both very long. So I'm going to, so on line 20, we have A5. Yep, I'm and it says type first. type in, uh, instantiation is excessively deep and possibly infinite. So we can solve this. Uh, there's a few tricks we can use. Um, the first trick, so this, so we already are doing times in a TC, tail call optimization way. There is a evil, evil, evil trick I know that is basically. Mm -hmm. This is going to be hard to explain, but it's. I know what you're going to do. One, uh, one extends zero question mark never otherwise. Everything else, uh, I think, yeah. Yep. Okay. So that actually fixed a five. Um, this is a hack I cannot explain honestly. It's um, on my list. So, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be putting together yeah. a talk after all the challenges are over, explaining like really weird things that you can you you come across when you start uh, kind of trusting down deep into these caves, and uh, this yeah. is one of them. So prepare yourself because I'm going to have to figure out how this works. Yeah. Okay. And then finally, uh, how we want to solve this last problem? I'm going to do it the easy, cheaty way. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I, I'm okay with uh, that. Yeah. Send zero. Question negative one. Otherwise, yeah. We can fix the formatting. Um, cool. Negative numbers are interesting. The if I if I had more time and wanted to sit down with this and create a library for this, um, what I would do is actually I would write a is negative case, and I would actually I would create a I would I would check if it's negative, and then I would extract out the positive part of that. Mm -hmm. I would increment it, which we already have, yeah. and then I would put the negative back. We can yep. do that if you want. I'm, no, no, um, I actually. So this one is it's what you did was a thousand times more incredible than what I I was even thought was possible. I have a bunch cool. of different examples, like many alternatives I want to show off for this one. Um, I will say. I'm going to put this guy up here. So this is like a super duper stress test. And uh, very few of them can actually pass this stress test. On my side, I'm seeing TypeScript just say loading. And uh, I hope it doesn't crash my VS code. OK, so we're not going to actually keep it around. Well, no, uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it might pass. Um, um, maybe. <laughs> there's, a, there's a slightly, so there's a slightly more performant, well, extremely more performant way to do this, which is actually to uh, split a string into um, base 10 tuples where each element is from zero to nine. Yes. And then implement yes. carry all right. Carry operator. So 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 buckle up then. Uh, let's yeah. let's go through like we're gonna we're gonna flash through. There are so many to go through. So I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. go a little faster than we probably should. But okay. So here's one example. It does the zero extends never trick um, to bust do the recursion busting. Very similar. This is uh, very very close to what you did. I think actually I like yours better because it's, it's like say. more obvious. Yeah. Um. Okay. Then there's this one. I uh, credit to. D R I N C A N N on GitHub. I think I got the whole thing. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So, <laughs> mm. uh, right. This uses trampolining, I believe. Uh, yeah. This, it's, it's, I think it's similar to what you were describing. Yeah. Um, it goes up to, to 10 uh, digits, I suppose, is what that would mean. So, so I, I would say this is not. Um, I don't think this is similar to what I was describing. I think this is a different approach, but also let's, one which will well, make me let's let's read it from like from like depth the highest depth first. So we this is minus one. So we've taken a number. It has this little. Uh, I should sorry. I should name this uh, accumulator. But anyway, it has a little accumulator, and uh, it's grabbing values out of that accumulate accumulator and checking the length. It also, this is kind of like how it handles the zero case, which is very similar. Okay, but the the real magic is happening here uh, in, right up there in the parameters actually for this list guy. So list, okay. List n extends number fine. It's reversing the number uh, and then it's making it, turning it into a string. Kind of interesting. Okay, uh, it has this internal implementation. So the internal implementation is passed. Now n is a string. It's passed it in reverse, and um, 
we didn't look at the reverse implementation, but here it is. Uh, so we have a string. We're kind of we're going to recurse through the string backwards. So you can see here uh, it's doing that. It's passing tail in in the beginning, and then head is the remainder, and then it just passes things through. So that's how recur reverse works. OK, so we reversed it. We're passing it to the internal implementation for list. Uh, we have this base, which is just like a counter, I think. And then the accumulator that we talked about before. Oh, man, this is so long. Uh, I should yeah, break this. Here, uh, one thing I think I think what will maybe help um, is if we... Here's what I do. Uh, let's pass in something like list 50 and see what type foo is. Yeah, it's, it's a bunch of any's. Uh, so they're just using any as a counter. So it's just, yeah, this is also a, this is a optimized tuple length based solution for arithmetic. Yes. It's not a base 10 solution. Right. Yep. Um, so yeah, anywho, uh, the optimization uses this times guy here. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm sure that I, I think I did understand it. They have a, I think they have a comment or I wrote a comment to avoid generating tuples with the length of 10,000. Um, so yeah. <laughs> they have this this list here and uh there's just too much okay i need to keep going because there's there's too many and there are variations that use this sort same sort of thing um i want to show yeah, one next once you get to extreme difficulty i wonder if you're just going to create like hour-long videos <laughs> i am really worried about that scenario unfolding but like if it's interesting maybe that's okay uh i have to get better at being understanding these things which is a struggle but okay we have the number we're saying one extends zero like the number um or if the, the input number extends zero then we re return negative one so that's just handling the kind of zero exception case okay then we do some stuff here <laughs> Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't like any of these solutions. Okay, uh, the next one yeah. passes C seven. Uh, we can skip to it. Let's let's jump. Yeah, let's jump let's, along. Let's skip to that one, and I can. Uh, I can uh, actually, the next two. Oh man, I have so many examples. Yeah, let's, okay, let's go through. Yeah, whatever you want to cover. No, there, it's just too much. So, uh, <laughs> so the code. Okay, I, let me just stop there and say. The code for all of this is on GitHub for all the challenges, and it's linked in this YouTube video. So if you want to see this code, and you want to dig through it and think about it. You don't have to like pause the screen and do all that. I mean, you're welcome to, but you can go examine it and see how they work and pick them apart, just like Mike was doing a second ago, how you can like kind of jump in in one of the helper types and pass a value and see what it does. It's a great way to do things. Um, OK, so let's 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 unstuck C7 here and see that it actually does pass. It passes immediately. It's like super quick. So there's no uh, there's no drag with that. Um, this person, Santos Marco Caribou, that's who they are on GitHub. Yeah, this is a great solution. Yeah, they. So this is this is the first time I saw this. They have this minus map thing. I don't know why everything everything got indented. Okay, okay, one second. Let me fix that. Okay, so that uses this. Mm, that's too far. Okay, well we'll just live with it. So it uses this minus map thing. Uh, it's just, it just takes a value and then returns the value below it. Um, and you can see this is working for uh, just every digit. And let's go look at it from from the beginning. Oh, there's so much here. Okay, so yeah, this is basically doing. Uh, like carry subtraction, I believe. Yes, um, uh, like it is. It is doing carry order. subtraction. It's checking for the um, uh, get head, get last two number. Um, I don't, man. I don't know if we're gonna have time to go through all this, but I think I think that is yeah. what this one was doing. Um, it's checking to see. So this is like basically it's checking to see if we hit the negative case. Um, so we're, we're kind of taking a string and pr turning it into a number. So, I mean, part of what's going on here in a lot of these ones we've just seen, I'm going to, I'm going to queue up the next one. Um, part of what we're seeing is that they, they basically, uh, abuse, abuse is the wrong word, but they, they keep, uh, they, they take a look at different, um, ways of using strings and manipulating strings in order to get things to pass. This is another one that passes C7. Okay, this one, I don't really want to talk too much. These are beautiful implementations. Okay, so uh, GAAC510 on GitHub. Thank you so much for writing this. Uh, don't be offended that we're not going to go through it part by part. What I think, what I thought was really interesting about this is this opened my mind. This solution changed me because it's the first time that I saw a trick in TypeScript that is really fundamentally useful. Here's what they did. So minus one has has like stages. We see here stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. And you're it's weird because it's like it feels like reading uh like COBOL or good. something. Like how how does this how does this work? Well, what they do is they basically 
recurse, but they recurse at certain argument positions and pass through specific values that refer to those stages and fall through the cases. If that's not clear to you, just take a look at how the arguments work. So um, basically we're taking digits and we're checking. So digits extends, if it has some values, then we're going to do something with it. That's how we know we're in stage two. If it does, if, and then we check to see if processed has some values in it. That's how we know we're in stage three. Then we look at the, the last argument, rejoined, and we're checking uh, edge cases. So this is a really cool and really, really imaginative, inventive type. I'm, I can't say enough positively about this, this solution. It's very interesting to use TypeScript in this way. I've never seen a solution to any challenges so far that use this kind of approach to break things into stages. It's really clever. Yeah, I really like this. This is uh, the best solution I've seen. It's it's like it's like amazing. Uh, this, whoever this person is, I, I got to track them down and get them on here. Uh, they are incredible. So uh, <laughs> there is so much more to show. I'm gonna just like paste it all at once. And uh, whoever wants to send me hateful comments below, please do. Uh, these are nopes. So these don't work. When I went through them, I tried to notate why they don't work. C6 is going to come up a lot. C6 is this one with zero. So I think that was added to the tests. So these maybe used to pass, but then somebody in the TypeScript challenges added zero as the, the, you know, as the input for a test case. So this uses pop, uh, pop and length. So this is actually kind of cool. This is a fairly trivial way to solve things. And if it wasn't for the zero case, this would work. Um, uh, I have the this credit here for the person. So this person is using string interpolation. So they're removing leading zeros. I don't know why that's important, but okay. Um, oh, it's because they're reversing the string. Okay, <laughs> right. So they're taking the number. We've seen this trick before. They, they put it inside of those brackets, turn it into a string. They use this internal minus one operation. They do all this stuff. Um, it's using, like I said, using string interpolation to decide what to do next. Um, I told you we'd cruise, so we're going to cruise. Digit to array. This is using a, like kind of a counter, so it's very similar to what we saw before in a way because it's creating tuples of a certain length, and then later you're going to see it check the length right here on rest. Um, it's it's interesting. Create uh, array by length, so it's it's doing all of this uh, kind of by hand. I, th I thought that was interesting. Um, okay, we made it. <laughs> we made it to the end. We made it. We finally made it. Um, woo Any final words? <laughs> Uh, yeah, these are all type-level arithmetic, super fun problem, uh, pretty academic uh, yes. use cases, Good work. rare, but um, yeah, this is super cool stuff. Definitely. Okay, <laughs> let's go on to the next one. It better be easier, right? Sounds good. <laughs>